you, Pisces. This is your reading for December 2020. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. This is your weekly reading. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Okay, Pisces, you have hidden realms. Create conscious awareness around you, okay? Create conscious awareness within you. All right, a revolution. This card actually flipped out, but I took it anyway. I felt like I needed to. So hidden realms, they're talking about a transformation that you may be going through this week, a radical change. They want you to give up the old to make way for the new. And I know all about this. <laughs> I go through this constantly. Okay. Uh, a, a quantum leap. Okay. So you're moving out of one phase and attempting, or you need to move into uh, something new, or they want you to make room for uh, new things that um, are are entering your, entering your life or new things that will be entering into your life, okay? Give up the old and make way for the new, okay? Or give up the old to make way for the new. Why? Blessings. Possibly in a connection, in a relationship, um, spiritual growth or... Um, you giving birth to your dreams. That's what I'm feeling here. The 22 is making me feel like possibly this is a connection or a relationship. It could be both, okay? Ace of Pentacles is rolling in, okay? So blessings are coming towards you or they want, the the uh, universe wants to bless you um, with prosperity, okay? New beginnings in your life with the Ace of Pentacles that's rolling in here. Pisces, good fortune wants to come in, okay? You've gone through a very difficult time this year. I, I know I have, and I know a lot of my Pisces have as well, okay? You're very uh, spiritual. You're very intuitive, okay? You guys, some of you guys are empaths, and you pick up on other people's energy. Um, so you may be going through um, a period of spiritual growth as well, okay? Uh, this week and throughout the month of December here, okay? But they want you to focus on um, growth. That's what I feel. They want you uh, to open yourself up, let go of things that may have hurt you or hindered you in the past here uh, so that you can receive much, much needed rewards, okay? Um, something that you deserve here, okay? So luck is on your side. That's what I'm feeling here. Pisces, soul fragments. This is what I'm talking about, okay? Balance will be restored. Absolutely, okay? Because I feel definitely, this is a divine number here, this number 33. Holy crap. <laughs> Look, he got it twice. 33, soul fragments and 33, retreat. This is a divine message. They're saying a timely departure, letting go, withdrawal, reevaluation, retirement. Don't hesitate to walk away from things that do not make sense, okay? That is either a person that you're dealing with, a past lover, past friend, past situation. Don't hesitate to walk away from things that may have uh, fragmented your soul. They're talking about soul ties as well. Don't be afraid to walk away from those things either or close yourself off and protect your energy um against these um for some reason I've, i i'm feeling like it's unseen forces okay we're talking about an energy tie or soul tie okay this is someone that you're probably not even with and i feel for some reason here pisces this is someone if you're not with this person then you're talking about we're talking about just pure energy here okay um you have to put your mind and your soul and your spirit in the right place in order to receive these blessings that are coming and i feel like the universe is begging you to make way or make room for new things to enter into your life here okay yen you get the yin energy moving in here. They're like, sit back, relax, just take your time with this yin energy. They want you to let someone or something enter into your life, okay? Uh, they don't want you to be um, taking the first step or the first, making the first move with this yin energy, okay? This is you being in your... Uh, Resting in your feminine energy. And I'm feeling that from the pink. 
<laughs> and because of the yin uh, energy that's coming in here, okay? You resting in your feminine energy. So if you're after a partner or after someone that you like, you need to bag off a little bit and just observe what is going on. Gather information about the person or the situation uh, that is at hand here and allow um, someone, there's a two again. So it feels like a partner. Allow someone to come in after you, okay? Let them work for you. Here, that's what I'm feeling. You have the seven of pentacles um, coming in here, Pisces. So this is all about uh, growth, I feel. With the um, roots down here. I'm just taking a look at your card here, picking up on some energy. But the seven of pentacles is all about the hard work that you've already put in. I feel like this is hard work towards yourself and you growing um, personally here, okay? They're saying that you don't have to chase after things that are meant for you, okay? I mean, they want you to take this up. <laughs> like this stand back approach, okay? Um, and allow things to come into your life right now at this moment, okay? Take note, consciously allow things to flow in um, and let a lover take the lead here. I feel like there's love here for some reason, all right? There's more than love. We're talking about finances as well. Since we have the pinnacles here, um, also another message that's coming in here, Pisces, some of you guys may doubt your own power your own creativity your own mind uh don't doubt yourself here okay you have worked very hard with the seven of pentacles that's rolling in here and i feel like you're getting you're going to get much needed uh recognition with the seven of pentacles they want you to have patience and let these things come into your life okay okay cosmic ancestors voice your concerns if you have them, talk to your ancestors, talk to your spirit guides, okay? Holding together here, union. <laughs> this is what I'm feeling. They're like, it's plenty of fish in the sea, Pisces. You don't have to chase after this one if they're not ready, okay? If someone's not ready for you, there's a reason why the universe is stopping a connection, possibly because this person has something to work on, Um because I feel like there's someone here, all right? They're talking about union, cooperation, solidarity, membership, teamwork, participation, making a choice here, okay? And imagine. So, um, yeah, imagine yourself already in uh, stepping into your blessings, okay? Stepping into the relationship that you're wanting here. Don't, I feel like the physical movement part, since we're talking about yin energy here and not yang energy, um, is you just, um, I lost it for a moment. I'm sorry, y'all. Is you holding back a little bit, okay? Um, and allowing things to flow in this union or, uh, this partnership here, okay? You're making a choice to do so. Um, what I was saying is imagine yourself already in these connections and don't chase after them, okay? It's almost like a state of manifestation here because um, I'm seeing the magician card in my head. Um, you knowing that um, you can manifest what you really want into your life, whether that is financial stability or a relationship or a connection here, Okay imagine <laughs> okay yes better times are coming here pisces look we got the four of wands that's moving in here achievements and satisfaction you being happy celebrating your com accomplishments okay because you plan for the future uh i'm feeling the two of wands here you planning evaluating um things that you want to accomplish evaluating situations and planning for the future let me get it right here okay two of wands energy that's moving in three of wands i feel like you definitely will start to uh develop new relationships this could be also in work here i want to get off of love for a minute because i feel like this could be work as well some of you guys are collaborating with other people or you're thinking about doing this okay you're going to be seen as a leader amongst the group here that's what i'm feeling here okay um and i'm feeling with the four of wands you're going to have a stable or create a stable foundation for yourself uh financially and emotionally okay 
Yes, so I'm getting a lot of energy for career and family and partnerships and business that's moving in that you're going to be able to uh, celebrate and be very satisfied with here. There's a lot of potential, um, potential opportunities that's going to present themselves, present itself to you here in the month of December. Yes. All right. Align yourself to this truth. Amen. Navigate distractions. Okay. Bypass them. It's, the card is saying align your universe here. Navigate distractions here through your intuitive power. Okay. Uh, they're saying the. <laughs> I want to read this card, but I felt the relationship was going to come at the end. Okay, something or someone here. The attraction of opposites, seduction, temptation, magnetism, a passionate encounter, meeting halfway, coupling, and sexual union is moving in. <laughs> okay, higher power here. So something has been written in the books here. And there's your number four coming in again. Whatever connection this is, Pisces, is going to feel very, very satisfying here, okay? And it's due to the hard work that you put in towards yourself here, okay? <laughs> um, you got the king of swords that's moving in here. All right, cut things out of your life that do not make sense, okay? That do not work for your highest good. Um, that's what I'm feeling with the king of swords, all right? Um, I feel like whoever you're going to partner with, this person will see you as being very strong, uh, as being very honest, being a leader, okay? Um, and very wise. That's what I'm seeing here, all right? You're going to be very attracted to someone and vice versa. They're going to be attracted to you. You're going to have a strong union with this individual, a strong <laughs> sexual union with this person. Okay. You're going to feel very drawn to them and vice versa. You got a bunch of twos up here and four. Okay. Twos and fours that's coming in here. Let's go ahead and get a message for you here. Pisces. Universe, what message do you have here for Pisces? Okay, creation, the flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth coming in here. That transformation, that revolution that I was talking to you about. And so fragments here, they're saying a lot of things may be ending in your life. A lot of people may be moving out of your life and maybe friends, maybe family, maybe an old relationship or one that you're currently in. Okay, it's going. It's because you're um, going through this transformation and it's almost, this almost feels like the tower car for me. Okay. Um, yeah. I feel like something was blocking your path, possibly, and they want you to allow yourself to re to let go of um, this energy or let go of per a person, place, or thing that you were dealing with here and protect yourself at this time since we're talking about the sacral chakra <laughs> energy that's coming in here, okay? Where's the sacral chakra? All right. I think it's below the navel. Uh, your navel here okay it represents like your emotions and your desires and it also uh, represents your sexual energy so protect that as well okay thank you you have let's go in here balance your balance will be restored here let me get your card up here Pisces, if I can. <laughs> Come on. We're going to leave it there. They're saying forgiveness. Now, you're not forgiving people, okay, for them. You're forgiving them for yourself. So work on your heart chakra. They're saying you'll find freedom and forgiveness coming in here. All right. Your cards are popping out today, Pisces. Divinity, recognize the divine in the mirror, which is you, okay? Recognize your own power. Thank you. <laughs> the 
This is the first card I saw when I flipped over the deck. Shine, you are made of stardust, so keep sparkling here, okay? And align yourself with the universe. They want you to know how important you are here and that there are blessings uh, awaiting you here. Um, just give up the old to make way for the new, and I feel like better things will move in towards you. Don't be afraid to release yourself or walk away from things that um, don't serve your higher self here, okay? All right, that is your reading, Pisces. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because I will be back with you. You know I will. Take care, Pisces. Bye.